Hi! Um, just to let you know, this is absolutely my last attempt at trying to make this video. Um, I am a teacher and I can stand in front of a class all day long. However, I cannot do anything in front of a camera. So, I want to talk to you a little bit about the things I do in my art and my junk journals and my mixed media. Mainly money saving um, things that I use. I want to make it really clear I am absolutely not going to be the only person out there that uses these tools and techniques. Um, the first thing I wanted to talk to you about is my distressing tool. Um, I need to find yet another postcard because I've done this on so many. Um, my distressing tool is a pound and it is a pedicure file from the pound shop. I've seen lots of distressing tools used and you probably can't see that but this works really really nicely. So that's the first thing. Uh, the second thing is um, the inks that I use. I have several of the Tim Holtz distress inks and the Ranger sponge applicators. However, I also use makeup sponges and this pack of 25 was just £1.50. So the inks that I use, I use the Tim Holtz inks and I also use these. They are acid free inks, they come in various metallic colours and bright colours. And at the moment, these are £1.25 from Hobbycraft in the UK. <clears throat> so with my makeup sponges and my ink, I can distress and age the edges. I'm using a colour here, so hopefully you can see it. But it works really, really well. Okay, um, as I said, I'm a teacher. Uh, my degree is in photography, but I have done so many different art forms over the years. Um, my main interest is mixed media. Up until two and a half months ago, uh, the only journal making I made was leather bound books. Uh, these are just to hand. Um, and I started making junk journals because about, like I said, two and a half months ago, I was looking for a clip for mixed media and came across a junk journal. So I had a go and absolutely loved it. Um, the next thing I wanted to talk to you about was bottles. Um, there are lots of different bottles on the market. I do use mini misters and various spray bottles to mix um, paints and inks. Uh, but I wanted to show you these. There's a spray bottle, a pump bottle, which I don't actually use, and four, um, three quite large bottles that I use to mix inks and brush -o in, um, and they're really good value. Uh, the next thing is eyelash trim. Um, this eyelash trim usually comes on two or three meter rolls. It comes in some really beautiful colors, uh, metallic colors, um, but it isn't cheap. And I wanted to show you this that I also use. Um, the fibers are slightly longer sometimes than eyelash trim. It's really soft. This one is white metallic, but it is a ball of wool, a ball of yarn. Um, and this ball of wool was one, no, four pounds something. So it is really cheap. Um, in my mixed media work, um, I use Artist Acrylic White Gesso from Windsor & Newton and the Artist Medium Modelling Paste from Windsor & Newton. However, I cannot remember her name, it begins with an M. Um, I watched a YouTube clip of her making some paste with talcum powder. So I had a go with my class and I used it to make um, this is just a really, really simple stencil and it does work really, really well. Um, I am going to put a link to her, I can't remember her name, sorry, 
um, I'm going to put a link down below of all of the people that I have watched and have inspired me and have helped me through tutorials to make junk journals and other um, other artworks. Um, people like uh, Nick the Booksmith and Crafty Irene, um, lots and lots of people who I cannot remember their names um, but I'm going to make a list of all the people that I've used and you might find useful um, and they are really 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 talented artists so um, thank you for watching I hope I haven't bored you too much and I will see you soon thank you